In today's Kim's Adventure, we're at the Children's Museum Houston. All right guys, so we're at the uh, Children's Museum in Houston and uh, we're gonna see what this place is all about. Founded in 1980 and housed in a whimsical building designed by Robert Venturi, it offers a multitude of innovative exhibits. The museum was rated as being number one in the US by Parents Magazine and is truly a playground for your mind. There's 9,000 square feet of interactive exhibits for kids and is open from Tuesday through Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. General admission for adults and children is $15 with special discounts for seniors and members of the military. The first exhibit we visited was How Does It Work? It's a giant robot made out of telephones. Uh, these are like the old cell phones back in the day. Hey, they got it like this. Looks like that might be from McDonald's. Kids can conduct hands-on investigations and explore physical science concepts. Dylan found out the efficiencies of a pulley system to lift up his body weight. And the ball track was really fun to watch. At the science station, work with a discovery guide to learn about cool science concepts through experiments and demonstration. And what do we have here? Which of the plants is used to produce plastic? Ah, oh, I didn't know uh, plants were used for plastic. I was learning how to do some wire work, electrician work here. We'll see if he gets it little wiring diagram that you have kids can follow to make the light or something in their work and this museum is wheelchair accessible ADA compliance so you got a wheelchair lift so you could your kid or whoever can get to the second floor explore the building blocks of matter as your kids immerse themselves in the periodic table of elements at the matter factory this is a fantastic place for children to learn about the chemical and physical properties of matter and their applications in our everyday lives. Oh, I get it. So when you put it there, it gives you what, what it is. The, ke the chemical um, properties. And then you put it... Alright, let's see where, how tall he is. The measure up meter. Super small challenge. Man, this place has so many things. I don't feel like we can do everything. Okay, well how does this go? Pull red knob to release balls. So basically it's showing uh, the flames change color based on what metals you heat. And that's how we get fireworks. Metropolis USA, you choose where to work, where to shop, and what to do with the money you earn. Make sure when you come in to the entrance that you pick up your Bank of America card so they can use it at the ATM. Alright, let's go check it out. This exhibit encourages kids to role play jobs that highlight the roles of city leaders, business owners, employees, and citizens. Featuring nine locations, over two dozen job opportunities, and constantly changing features, there's something new to try on every visit. This is one of the most popular exhibits here, and during peak season, they give timed allotments that are only available in limited quantities. Yeah, that way, yeah. There you go. Enter your pin number. One, two, three, four. Wow, you got 20 bucks. <laughs> Just like a real ATM. So you get your cash card and then I guess you could use that in the different places in this little town. Kidopolis. You got uh, City Cycles. It's all like little stores here. You got a new station. You got another bank. Teach the kids financial responsibility. 
try even like little deposit slips for the kids. Hey, let's see what they got in the safe. This is a madhouse. This is a madhouse in here. Hey, you can work. You can be a bank worker here. Here, you're a financial advisor. Whoa, look at Dylan's rich. All right, let's go. Let's get out of the bank. All right, we're going into City Hall to vote. Looks like nobody wants to be in the in the government. They really built this place out. What are you voting for today? It's in Spanish. And what's this? Ambulance? Oh, ambulance and police. Hey Dylan, somebody's sick in there. You gonna help him out? Somebody's sick in there. You gonna help him out? All right, are we on there? All right, all right, we're doing it live. This is Phnom, Phnom Penh news. <laughs> so all these, um, all these places has a costume, and then you can pick up your paycheck right here, and then you can uh, deposit your money. You can deposit your money uh, to the bank. So they got everything set up like a responsible adult. Preparing you to be a responsible grown-up in Babylon. Hey, say cheese! <laughs> oh, what do you want to eat, Ali? Pick what you want to eat. Macaroni and cheese? Yeah? Yeah, macaroni and cheese. The H-E-B. That's the grocery store out here. The H-E-B in Houston. And then you do self-checkout. Once you're done, you do self-checkout right here. Self-checkout. Hey Dylan, I'm hungry. Give me an order. You're, you're my wait waiter. <clears throat> Where's my menu? Hey waiter. Waiter, I've been waiting for my food. Where's my food? You call this food? All right, you're gonna get a one on Yelp. I'm gonna make a bad review for you guys. It's terrible. What the heck? You're not even on a plate. Not even on a plate. In that power play, put your body to the test as you explore the science of nutrition, health, and exercise. There are three levels of physical challenges that are meant to push kids to the next level. Power Play utilizes heart rate monitors at each activity station to show children that the human body has physiological response to exercise. The adventure course at the lower level was really cool. Nolan looks like a big boy. How time flies. Next, we went to Cyber Chase, based on the award-winning PBS Kids cartoon. The series centers around three children from Earth, Jackie, Matt, and Inez. They're brought into cyberspace in order to protect the world from the villain hacker by means of problem-solving skills utilizing math, environmental science, and wellness. In this exhibit, kids are shown that math is a tool we can use to solve everyday problems. It's really hard to do everything at this place in a few hours because it's just so much because all of these are like a little kids activity that you have to read the instructions you gotta find out what it's about you know little games and activities for them and right next door is the invention convention Unleash the imagination inside this workshop filled with gadgets and gizmos that kids can design and build. And here you can build your Lego car. You build your Lego car and you test it out on the test track right here. They actually give you some ideas on how you can build your Lego car. 
the Invention Convention exercises kids' problem-solving and creativity as they engineer their way through design challenges like building airplanes and cars. And this is the wind tower. You build your wind tower here. So out here you create all your things and then you can test it out on these devices. Let me see. Alright, parachute. Go all the way up. Woo! <laughs> it fell out. For more advanced projects with guided instructions, they have the inventor's workshop. Robot labs. All the different types of robots. Where are they going? Oh, they're chasing the ball. I think it's chasing the ball. Where the heck is this robot going? It says draw a path. I had fun making this cool animation at the stop motion animation station. Oh, you're making music with this. Oh, you put the balls in there and you can create music. To my surprise, there was an outdoor area. The first one we went to was the Eco Station. Come and explore the outdoors through the native plant garden, solar powered research pavilion, pond habitat, and woodland section. Holy cow! Oh, I see. Dinosaur footprints. Ha! Look at the cute little baby chick! There's little baby chicks here. It looks like they're sleeping. And they've created a pond that has a lot of life in there. There's a... Little tiny fish, crawfish, there's a bird over there. They do a pretty good job filtering the water because it's um, pretty clear. You can see all the animals. They got a tiny turtle right there. Then we headed to Flow Works for some much needed water play. So they got a wave, they have a wave machine that shows you how waves work. They have this contraption right here. This crazy contraption. It's like a Rube Goldberg machine with water. Oh, I feel that. Uh, someone's spraying me. So a lot of things. A lot of things for the kids to play with out here on a hot day. It's water. It's just water. But it's so fun. This is an interactive exhibit all about the flow, pressure, and power of water. It allows kids to explore water with a hands-on, inquiry-based approach. Plus, it's a great way to cool off from the Texas heat. There was also a preschool sized playground nearby. Afterwards, we went back inside to Newton's know how. Roll, spin, bounce, and launch your way through Newton's laws of motion. Newton know how provides kids the opportunity for an immersive exploration into the physics of force and motion. Last but not least, we went to the Heart and Soul exhibit. Cholun Umshik, good food. And that is a pindetok, jajangmyeon, piyumba. Popular Korean street foods. And then you walk in here, you can see, whoa, it's like a Korean apartment. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Wow, look. Yeah, we drink this a lot. And then they got a little 
rice cooker here. What else? What's cooking here? Chapche? What about this? Tokuk, rice cake. Oh, I like eating that. Kalbi jim. That's good too. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a little Korean apartment. It actually reminds me of the uh, the place that my aunt stays at. My aunt lives at. Explore traditional folk tales and read personal stories told by Korean children as you discover time-honored cultural values and life in South Korea's highly urbanized and technologically advanced societies. Play a little drum. The kids can practice writing. They're Korean. They're Hangul. Let's see. Yeah, cute. Yeah. We got Korea here. That's where my family. A lot of my family live here. My dad's family is from here, Daegu. And up here, we got North Korea. Can't really be there. Just gonna get a little Taekwondo lesson. Front kick. Bam! <laughs> of course, we can't, we can't have Korean culture without K-pop. Got a little stage set up for the kids. The K-pop stars. Before leaving, we went to the Fresh Cafe to recharge. Even if your little ones are picky eaters, there definitely will be something they'll try on this menu. As for us, we got the chicken tenders and fries. They also have a cool gift store called Fiddlesticks that's filled with educational toys. It's pretty much the gift, the gift shop is like a toy store but a lot of the toys are geared towards education. And uh, you can go to the top secret gear shop which has a lot of the science and robotics in here. I also totally missed it but there's a secret entrance to the top secret gear shop that leads to a spy game. It's $7 per mission and plays like an escape room. That's actually a great deal considering escape rooms average to about $40. And, uh, it's not open right now, but they have a, a theater behind these doors, a stage. They probably do performances occasionally at the Children's Museum. They actually have a library inside of the Children's Museum, which is uh, is very unique. Haven't seen that before. All right, guys. So the kids are pretty much going to finish up their meal, and then we're going to head on out. Had a great time here at the Children's Museum. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.